So today we're doing honeycomb makeup. So what I did was I used baking flour and liquid latex. I'll do a video on how I did that on another day. But right now I'm using the same baking flour and I am using it to remove the prosthetic from the mannequin head. And so now I'm just gonna straighten it out and I'm gonna trim up the excess off the ends and um, so that way I won't have too much hanging off and it'll be a nice smooth edge for it to lay across my face. So now I am dipping into my Miron palette. This is the Paradise palette. Um, I'm getting the color yellow and I am just going over the entire prosthetic with that color, just filling in all of the areas. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some brown from that same palette and I'm going to start to color in the honeycomb holes just so that I can start giving it some definition and some depth. Now from that same palette, I'm going to go ahead and add some black um, just to make the holes a little bit darker uh, because for some reason the yellow and the brown were really starting to mix together so I wanted to really have a little bit more definition and depth in the honeycomb holes so I added some black. So now I'm going to make my honeybees. The way I made these, I just took some cotton ball rounds, liquid latex, and some of the baking flour. Placed a little bit of baking flour in my hand. Um, I took the cotton rounds and I rolled them around in the, in the la liquid latex. Rolled them into like little, like little rolls and kind of formed them as I was rolling it to have somewhat of a B shape and then let them dry. Didn't take that long for them to dry at all. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the black paint from my Miron palette and I am now creating the B structure. I'm painting the black part of the head and then I will be going back in after I do that and taking yellow from the same palette and painting the body part of the B. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead and take some black and add some lines to give it a little bit more of a B look. Now this entire look that I'm doing is inspired by a really amazing makeup artist from Sweden. Her name is Ellie Max. Um, her, her YouTube page is awesome. She does a lot of great tutorials. She makes it very easy to learn. So check her out if you get a chance. It's Ellie Max SFX Makeup. I will put her uh, information right in the bottom here of the screen. So now it's time for the makeup. So first I'm going to go ahead and add some brows on, have some concealer. The concealer I'm using here is 
370 by Fenty Beauty. I'm just using that to carve out my brows. Make sure everything is nice and sharp. Now I am patting that in with a beauty blender and with that same mini beauty blender, I am taking some banana powder by Ben Nye and I am setting in that concealer. Now I am taking my palette from my mini palette from Morphe and the color that I'm using is natural and I am using that just to add some shade and then now I am going into the color define to add some transition and now I am I was attempting to use Spark, but for some reason Spark wasn't showing up the way I wanted it to show up. So I ended up using my, I ended up using my highlighter from Fenty Beauty, um, Hustler Baby, uh, the Kilowatt, and that actually came out a lot more on the eye then I, you know, it actually did what I wanted it to do as opposed to um, the other color that I tried to use. So now I'm just adding a little bit more shading and now I'm buffing all of that out. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. And then after I add my mascara, I'm going to add a lash. I already put on some liner. The liner that I used was the NYX liner, the all black liner. So now I am going to now take my honeycomb that is now dry and I'm gonna trace it along my face so I can have an area for it to sit. Now I'm gonna add my foundation and uh, start working on that part of my face. I always want to try and um, add my foundation around the area that I'm going to work on because I don't want the foundation to mix in with the artwork. And you're not going to see the foundation anyway, so you might as well carve out what you're doing and then uh, work around it as much as possible. All of the products that I used, I'm going to have in the description box below um, so that if in the event that you want to use any of them, you can. So now I am using concealer number 385 Fenty Beauty and I am now highlighting my cheekbone area. And I'm also cleaning up where I added that eyeliner. That's a great way to kind of clean up your eyeliner if you make any mistake, especially if you're trying to do a winged eye. And I'm adding that same concealer to my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin. Now I'm buffing that out with a beauty blender and um, making sure that all of that is nice and uh, buffed out so now I am taking my banana powder by Ben Nye and I am just adding some to the areas that I placed a concealer to highlight I don't want to fully bake I just want to set it so I immediately just brush it all off because I just want to set it in in the right spot and now I am taking color number I think it's 490 from Fenty Beauty um, to go ahead and contour I like the the contour um, I like to use the concealers from Fenty Beauty for our contour because they're creamy and they you know they really stand out and they blend really well with my skin there's so many great products out there um, but these are the ones that I'm pretty much my go-to. In terms of the foundation that I used earlier, it is Juvia's Place. It is the 
Kamala. Um, that's the color shade. Um, it is a full, it is a full coverage foundation. It's really smooth, really nice, and it covers everything. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, go and get some. You can find that at Ulta. So now I am adding um, the same kilowatt Hustler Baby um, as I highlight for my cheekbones and for above my lip. Now it's time to add the honeycomb. So now I am taking some liquid latex and I am adding it to the perimeter of the area where I um, carved out where the honeycomb was gonna go. Reason why I have my eye closed is because I don't want any latex to accidentally get in my eye because <laughs> it was starting to drip. So I want to cover it and plus, the ammonia that is in the latex, um, it could be a little, uh, a little much when it comes to being close to the eyes. So I like to close my eyes so that my eyes don't water while I'm doing it. Um, I also added some Elmer's glue on the glue stick on my eyebrows and on my lids in the event that again it starts to drip. So now I'm adding the honeycomb and I am like pressing it into those areas where I added the latex. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that same liquid latex and I'm gonna start to apply it on the edges of the honeycomb so that way it can start to stick and I can create a second layer of skin for myself. So that way um, I can start to blend in the honeycomb with foundation. So now I'm taking that same Juvia's Place and I am now blending that into the edges so that it can give the illusion that the honeycomb is basically growing out of my skin and uh, covering some of the holes that I had originally colored, covered with yellow because I want it, I want to give that, that same illusion. Just making sure everything is nice and buffed out and creamed up. So now I'm taking a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is in the color Mocha Mami. Um, and I am just adding a little bit of that to give it a little bit of definition. Now I'm adding a little bit of black eyeshadow. Um, it is from my Box of Crayons eyeshadow palette. And I'm just adding a little bit extra in those areas and also adding some on the edges of where I added foundation so that um, you can have that transition. So now, just doing the same thing, completing that look. So now it's time to add those bees. They're nice and dry and ready to go. Um, the wings that I added to the bees came from some stickers that I bought from Amazon. And those stickers I just got, um, they're called Jolie's. They're from Jolie's Boutique. Just random uh, bee. They're three dimensional uh, bees. So I took the wings off of the bees that are on there and I put them on mine. So now, uh, and I stuck the bees in my honeycomb with liquid latex in order for them to stay. Added my wig, added some gloss, and now I am taking some uh, yellow eyeshadow from the crayon box palette and some clear hair gel to make the honey. And so once I get that nice and uh, mixed in, have like a nice consistency, now I'm just gonna add that to my honeycomb to give that effect and I am done. I hope you guys liked the video. Hope it was pretty informative. Please like, share, and subscribe. I am trying to do as many videos as I can. Still new to this and still working out the kinks, but I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.